topping our news at this hour, in the wake of Hurricane Irma, local governments are looking to the federal government to reimburse some costly services. The city of Northport is hoping to get nearly $700,000 back from FEMA for her st staff overtime charges. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us with more details. Christopher? Good evening. In a pretty typical move, the city required all staff to come in to help keep the city running during the storm, and that does include all of the police officers, and that was pretty costly. When the lights go out, bad things start to happen. When Hurricane Irma brought heavy winds and rain to the Sun Coast, law enforcement was out in it. Our responsibility is to ensure the public safety and the continuance of city government. But that was costly, nearly $700,000 in overtime charges alone for the city of Northport. The police department made up half of that because it was all hands on deck. Some of our mobile home communities here, uh, we actually went basically door to door to say, hey, it'd be a good idea for you to evacuate. Please go to a shelter. It wasn't just the officers, firefighters, and other staff members' compensation, though. Nearly everything is meticulously cataloged. Once you declare the emergency, we start um, detailing everything that we use. Gasoline, manpower, any type of associated equipment. Reason being, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, does reimburse much of that money. It's called the Public Assistance Grant Program. That's actually what it is. It is a grant which reimburses eligible applicants. Local governments can apply for the grant, and after a lengthy approval process, they may get paid back. To ensure governments, nonprofits, do not go bankrupt because of the expenses incurred during a major disaster. Northport contracted with a company to oversee the city's debris cleanup. That company will be responsible for the FEMA grant application, the money spent on that contract can, too, be paid back by FEMA. So here's the thing. This is not necessarily a fast process. The city told us today they only got paid back from the year 2004 storms in 2012. Live in Northport, Christopher Brantley, ABC7, your Suncoast News.